Now, I'm going to be honest, I almost skipped making this video altogether because I know I'm going to get a lot of heat about, you know, a lot of the stuff that you're about to see. And that's really, it's because I know that perfect is the enemy of the good and I'm not going to let that bother me and I'm not, not going to let trolls get to me. So what you're about to see is some stuff that's not the prettiest and it's not necessarily the best, you know, home networking setup, but it's working great for us. So stay tuned so you don't miss it. This is looking really bare and that's because today we're going to install the Unify Dream Machine Special Edition. We're going to replace the Eero Pro 6 from Amazon and get this network back on par for our smart home. Here's the shipment we got today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up and I'll show you what's inside. The brains of the operation is right here in the Dream Machine Special Edition. And we also got two of the U6 long range wireless access points for the Wi-Fi and two of the G5 bullet cameras. So the G5 bullet cameras, we're going to do in a separate video, so we don't need these right now. But we're going to set up the network that we set that we purchased and the Wi-Fi access points, and I'll let you know how that goes. All right, so we got the Dream Machine Special Edition all set up here. So I have um, two access points that I have going into it using the power over Ethernet. You can see the one above right here, and these are the Unify 6, um, the U6 long range that we have within our house. We have two of those set up, and I just have it propped up for now. I'm not really sure if I want to mount it on the ceiling or the wall. I want to see how it works and um, you know verify that it's working well and see if we need to adjust it at all and go from there before I make it in permanent. But I don't, I don't think it looks bad right Right there for our purpose this is contained within a closet within my office space so it's not something that anybody ever sees so it, it doesn't matter if it's a little messy and that really gets on to the next point i mean you see the wiring right now i haven't had a chance to clean it up at all yet but i'm actually not overly concerned about you know a little bit of messy uh, again Perfection is the enemy of the good here, and um, we want to make sure that we have a good solid network. Um, I'm not getting raided on, you know, whether or not that, you know, I have my my cables totally organized. And sorry, sorry, haters, it's it's not going to bother me. But go ahead and leave those comments below, and I'll certainly respond to them. So you know, don't miss out on that opportunity to uh, bust on me for all of this, uh, you know, shenanigans I have here. But I have the two access points in these two, as I'd mentioned. Um, this cable right here is going to a switch that I'll show you in a minute. That's just an old Netgear switch. And then this is where our internet's coming in to this port right here. And that is from the T-Mobile internet connection up here. And then from the switch, we also have our Home Assistant instance here on the Home Assistant green. And then there's also a Lutron um, Cassetta hub up top as well. So that's everything that's in, in our um, closet here for our smart home uh, brains of the system, if you will. Um, but the the uh, Dream Machine, you know, special edition, you know, I'm, I have no affiliation, but that's been a really cool unit so far. I'm going to do another video regarding the um, home security cameras and show you what that's like. But this does have the hard drive bay in it. And I, I dropped just a one terabyte hard drive ahead laying around, drop that in it to test it out. And it does have some onboard um, storage space as well. So pretty neat unit here and working really well so far. I did have a couple of issues when we moved over to the Wi-Fi from the U6, but it seemed to be all device oriented. So for example, our power wall, it just would not reconnect properly. So what I ended up doing after troubleshooting a lot, I logged into the power wall directly and told it to forget the network and reestablish the network connection. And it's been flawless ever since. So the couple of one-offs that I've had, it does seem to be device oriented. Um, 90%, I would say, of the devices came over without a hitch, just used the same Wi-Fi with the same password, and everything seemed to be good to go on, again, 90 plus percent of the, the devices. Really glad we made the switch. As soon as we connected the Wi-Fi, we had almost 100 devices, you know, populate between the, the few that we have on the Ethernet, you know, through um, hard wiring and Cat6 cables, and um, the... Wi-Fi devices themselves. So close to 100 devices definitely was maxing out our Eero Pro 6, you know, beyond beyond its capabilities. And we we're having all kinds of spotty internet, spotty connection to the Wi-Fi. 
even local stuff wasn't always working. It was just a hot mess there. So really glad we made the switch over to the Unify system. I'm going to go ahead and show you the Netgear switch and then we'll wrap everything up. And here you can see the Netgear switch. There's no power over Ethernet going out of that. So the, the devices that have power over Ethernet requirements I have coming directly from the Dream Machine Special Edition because that does provide the power over Ethernet. But the Netgear is just an old Netgear that I had used in the past, and it still functions for most of our devices here. Again, we have a total hot mess of cabling here, something I haven't had a chance to perfect yet. And again, I'm not overly concerned because it, it just works, so I don't really need to have it look nice in the closet that nobody sees. Thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe so you can see the video when I get the cameras hooked up as well.